Thank you very much. This next comic, I've seen this guy many, many times. Give it up for my main man of mayhem, Ernie Green! <laughs> One more time for Mikey Bee, huh? AKA the person with the poster child for people who don't want marijuana being alive because they say it's bad for you. <laughs> oh my goodness, what's going to hell happen? Um, I actually tried to get my medical marijuana card through my doctor, Dr. Schneider, and he goes, Ernie, I'm not going to give it to you because I don't want you, um, I don't want to give you something you're going to be addicted to. Then he prescribed me Ambien and Vicodin. <laughs> Try to jump around? Will that, will that work? Or? No. <laughs> Um, I got a text backstage from this girl that said, Ernie, I want to see your junk. Yeah, so I sent her a picture of my Arizona Cardinal season tickets. Yeah. Hey, no. <laughs> <laughs> and my penis. <laughs> the Arizona Cardinals are the only 53 people that score less than I do. <laughs> Me too. Yeah, me too. Thanks. I wasn't talking to you. Um, <laughs> I actually, uh, I grew up in Buffalo, New York, believe it or not. I know about bad football teams. I'm actually a fan of the Buffalo Bills. Um, they haven't made the playoffs in 16 years. The playoff drought is 16 years old. Their playoff drought is so old, you can legally have sex with it in 30 states. <laughs> when I was doing my research for that joke, um, I found out that the legal age of consent for in D.C. is 16. Which means you do not even need to be a legal voting age, you can fuck by a politician there. Do <laughs> you want to know how bad the Buffalo Bills are? They only beat the Cardinals by 16 points. <laughs> um, people in Buffalo, they're not that smart. Um, my, one of my best friends got a DUI, picking up his girlfriend from the police station who had gotten a DUI. <laughs> yeah. My only hope is that they finally have a kid so they have a designated driver. <laughs> yeah. I was watching the news there over the winter, and uh, they had a big snowstorm, of course, and the lady, I swear to God, on the TV, she goes, if you're homeless, go to our website and see where you can seek shelter. Uh, yeah. Now, um, I don't know much about the homeless, but I'm pretty sure there's not a lot of three-wheel shopping carts equipped with Wi-Fi. <laughs> yeah. And another girl there, um, she called me a traitor for leaving Buffalo for, for Phoenix. Traitor, T-R-A-D-E-R, -E traitor. I'm like, hopefully I traded someone with proper grammar. Jesus Christ. So um, I was actually watching a football game the other night, it was a college game, and somebody got seriously injured, and uh, they, came, they, they took him out, and they came back about a quarter later, and they're like, he's doing okay, we took him to a nearby hospital. And I'm like, well, that's good, because it would be a complete dick move if they took him to a faraway hospital. <laughs> So I've had no luck in the dating scene lately. You know, I dated a female cop. During foreplay, she wrote me a speeding ticket. <laughs> yeah. I don't think that joke's that funny, guys. <laughs> I asked this other girl out, and she said, Ernie, I just don't respect what you do for a living. It was my coworker. <laughs> I asked another girl out, and she told me she likes a funny guy who's athletic, yet when I climbed through her second story bedroom window wearing a clown suit, she called the cops. <laughs> I've been shot down so many times on social media, my profile is sponsored by Malaysian Airlines. <laughs> the anti-vaccination movement really pisses me off, because now I can't tell if a girl's lying or being serious when she says she can't hang out because she got polio. <laughs> Yeah. My only hidden talent is I can name all 44 presidents since the clinch of order, which explains why I haven't gotten laid in four score and seven years. So, I'm a big fan of the WWE and the WWE Network, or as I like to call it, Netflix for Virgins. Yeah. And I go to WrestleMania every year, and it's, it's always fun. And now this year, WrestleMania was in Dallas. I gotta tell you, Dallas is a really fun town. Unless, of course, you're a president riding around in a convertible. <laughs> Yeah, I'm, I'm sorry, I, I know a lot of people don't laugh at that joke, that joke always hits back into the left. Uh, so I recently uh, lost 40 pounds, which is uh, $63.40 in American currency. Um, somebody asked me, like, Ernie, how'd you lose all that weight? I'm like, well, I just made a list of everything I did that was fun and stopped doing all of it. 
So, well, I thought it was funny, so fuck off. <laughs> and I know how hard it is to struggle to lose weight and gain weight and whatnot, so I would never ever make fun of somebody who's going through the same struggle if they have a few extra pounds, and I would never do that. Except for my dad's wife. Yeah. Her and I haven't spoken in 15 years, mainly because I don't speak hippopotamus. <laughs> yeah. She's fat, she's a redhead, so she looks like the wedding girl, which is fitting because she's so fat, her blood type is chocolate frosty. <laughs> Thanks to her soon coming diabetes, she has no, um, I fucked that joke up, so. <laughs> fuck it. <laughs> so, all right, my name is Rudy Green, thank you very much. <laughs> are you guys ready for your last comment? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, this is one of my closest friends in the entire world, he's very responsible. He actually just got done babysitting my nephew. 